My name is Ann Berry. Um, clinical psychology is what I want to become. Um, I chose it because, like, you know, I had diagnosed with cancer. I saw other people going through different things, emotionals. I had distress a lot, you know. So I was like, wow. Uh, that's what I want to do. I want to deal with the minds of people, to get their minds off their illness and to concentrate on something else. I want to see how they're thinking, why they're feeling that way and all that. So I think I would be a great candidate for that and I was like, I'm going to do that. A lot of people give up when they hear the word cancer. Um, it's not so much of the cancer that makes you sick, even though you have different feelings and hurts and pain, it's the treatments. And then sometimes you just get tired of the treatments. You get tired of a peg going in your arm. You, you, you get tired of going through the tank because you have radiation out of that. I wasn't able to go to school. Um, I had classes, but I had to go into convalescent home after having the cancer removed. I have cervical cancer. I stayed there for a year. So I came here because I couldn't get my books. I had no financial aid. Then I found out somebody stopped me, and I found out about Project Learn. And they was like, yeah, go right there. And I came in, I told them my story, and I was like, I, don't, I can't get my books and stuff. And they said, no worries, we have book loans here. Just come to be a member of our club. We'll work with you if you need transportation and stuff. And I got tear at it because I was like, this is what I need to hear because this is what I want to do. And I was like, I can't be defeated. If I didn't let cancer beat me, I can't let nothing else stop me. Everybody in my family graduated from college and was successful. I did everything the opposite way. Got married, had kids, didn't go to school. High school, yes, but didn't fin go through college, didn't finish. So I was like, wow, this is my opportunity. I can't be the one that can. And I'm seeing all my nieces and nephews being successful. Okay, it's time for you to do something else with your life. You can do this, and that's what I'm doing. I'm loving it. And once I leave here, I want to transfer to Santa Barbara. Um, hopefully next year will be my time to graduate from here. I'm going to go there, finish up, get a BS. From there, get a master's and get my doctor's degree. You know what? I just don't accept no. I, I don't like people to say you can't do something. How you know I can until I try? And nothing beats a try, but it'll be determination being successful, depending on, believing in yourself first and most, you can do anything you put your mind to. And I think that's the only reason why I'm here to sit here before you today and say what I'm saying right now. Mm -hmm.